Hello there. Today I'm going to tie you a river bug. I like this. I, re I really like this bug. It, it's ideal for fishing anywhere really. I would, I'd be content to fish this fly anywhere. I've got in the vise a jig hook with a 3mm bead on. Uh, it's quite a big bead. I want the fly to get down at some, some pace and it's quite a thin fly. It, so I, use, I incorporate the hen's body quill stuff into it. Um, because I find it really effective. But my main tying thread today is going to be olive, 6 op. Uh, I'd prefer to use 8 op, but I just don't have that in the green at the moment. So I'm going to persevere with a heavier thread. And I'll catch that on. I'm just going to build up a little bit of thread near my bead just to stop it coming back and getting on my nerves while I'm tying. First thing I'm going to tie in is uh, a tail. Uh, I've got these little fibbits. They're ideal really. Uh, I only want a couple which I'm going to catch with my thumb and forefinger. And I'm just going to catch them and try and get the length right first time but I'm sure it's not always possible. slightly long so I'm just going to adjust a little bit and then I can bring back I'm just holding the tail feathers in line so that they don't start splaying out all over the place as I get near the end just one more turn got to be so careful I'm just going to come underneath couple of turns and I'm just going to use my fingernail to push that back now. I'll just move the thread to there for the moment, snip that away and it's probably difficult to see straight on but I've now got a little V, v shape going on at the back there and that's because I've lifted them with the couple of thread turns. I'm now going to catch in my Hen's body quill. This is the BQ35, and it's a it's a lovely olive colour. I'm going to strip off about uh, 25 centimetres or so, much more than I'll require, but better to have more and not need it. I'll just catch that in, and I'm going to take it all the way up back to my thorax area. Then with this I'm going to bring it down right to the ends where I've got my tail now I have seen this used on bare hook and uh, it makes a really really slim slim profile body but I don't need that That's, you know this fly it's going to be moving through the water at a fair old pace. And I use it for quite fast flowing water. And the fish have either got two choices, ignore it or eat it. I don't think there's much time for inspection. So I'm not going to be overly worried that my body is slightly thicker than it should be. What this hen's body quilt does do is it gives it a very subtle shine. So I've got to the end there, I'm going to catch in. And then just snip away. I'm going to have a little tag on this fly. Anyone that's seen the uh, Czech Fishing DVD, or indeed the read the book, a lot of the Czech anglers are using little tags at the back of their flies. Uh, it's not something I usually do, but I'm gonna gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna catch that in, and then just bring it over the top. Like so. I obviously don't want it, it's not a streamer, so let's uh, snip back. 
quite considerably. And the dubbing I'm going to use is uh, the Davy Wooten SLF dubbing, and it's just the olive, the olive one. I do like this stuff. It's uh, it dubs dead easy, uh, and it looks really effective. So I've caught that onto the hook. I think I've probably got, as in most cases when you're tying, you put on far too much material than you need. So I'll take off a bit and see how I get on with that. So I can run that all the way up to the top. I'm going to tighten it up a bit as I get near the end. Like so. And then to finish off, I'm just going to drop in a couple of half hitches, like so. Trim that off. And just to finish off, we're going to use some Vineyards Clear Vanish. Get a little bit on the end of my dubbing needle and that will just sink down through and just hold everything into place and there you have the hen's quill bug profile looks good to me I'm sure that will catch fish, no problem. If nothing else, I hope it's given you an idea. Thanks for watching.